Hi guys, today uh, we're gonna do uh, yet another fly tying video. We're gonna do the Beaulieu uh, snow fly. I promised you a uh, fly with some uh, peacock curl. So today it's happening. Uh, let's begin. So, first of all, I'm not using a uh, goot today. Uh, I'm gonna put this one in my wallet. Uh, so I want, want a traditional hook for that purpose. Um, so let's begin. Uh, we have two different tinsels. There's no tail or nothing, uh, tag, but no such thing. So tying in flat silver tinsel. And then we have oval gold. I'm also tying it straight in since it's a seal fur body. Then we don't really need to hide the tying point. So there we are. Cool tinsel applied. Silver tinsel as well. So, according to the pattern, it's time for pale blue uh, silk fur. I have it here. And it states not too much. So Let's do it a bit thin. So. On the third turn of the silver oval tinsel, we're gonna tie in black here on. So we're just gonna estimate that that's gonna be. Gray here on dyed black, colored black. It's going to tie it in properly. This one I need to try to uh, use when I'm fishing next year. Um, so 
is I, I like the pattern a lot. So let's continue with the seal fur then. Slowly getting there, shouldn't stress your tying. I think I'm hungry. <laughs> Just gonna finish this fly and have a dinner. There we go. Nice, lovely body. Too much head head space at the same. There we are. Just cleaning the desk. We start with the silver tinsel then. Sorry about the stomach noises. Looks equal. Getting the silver tins in. And then we have the gold tins in.
Now after the goat insult we will take the harem. few gentle wraps following the tinsel forward so let me just adjust that one there we are Here in the front, we do a few turns just to build up the volume of the hackle a bit. Just cutting the leftovers. Make sure to tie everything in. Looks good. Then we have the wing. Peacock curl. A lot of it. Very much. I'm just moving away a few other feathers. cutting a few hurls and stacking them together Oh, 
want them to have similar length. And there we are. So I start with a rather small amount. 4 strands each side again stacking them together securing it properly let's cutting everything off bunch feathers together to be equal length Oops. Let's see. one is much longer than the others not like that
it in, securing it properly. Now we start to get some volume in the bin. So I think I'm gonna repeat that one more time. each side Some lovely color colors in this one. So what I did place them place them wrong now it's correct So this is gonna be the last stack of hurl I add to this one. Now we have a wide, nice swing. Cut all the leftovers here in the front. And then gently remove a few strands there. So, last one, orange seal fur. add a bit more to it actually Let's 
see if it. Yeah. I'm gonna add more. I want it to be a bit thicker. I'm gonna brush that hair on out in a bit. sharp hook. I can confirm that. And they are. Not that the hard to do. Quite fast fly and uh, I, I really really think it fish well to be honest. I'm so excited about trying it. I'm just gonna trim it a bit and then uh, just gonna apply some wax and then a little bit of varnish just to make sure that the thread holds it's for fishing so should be durable. And there we are. Flies ready. Just gonna work with it a bit. There you go. Simple as that. So, that's how you tie this Bewley uh, Snowfly. Um, really nice pattern. Uh, I, I think I'm gonna do variation of it and try it during the summer. Uh, you know, when the, the sun pops up, you know, just imagine throwing one of these into the river. Must be like, woohoo, no year. Fantastic. So, yeah, uh, that's it for today. See you guys in the next video. Uh,